grappling, but you can't find a partner to work with right now because you're stuck at home. Uh, today I'm going to work on something that you can do just to practice your standing grappling here. You could possibly do the ground grappling with this guy. What all this is is a simple thing that we got from um, Sentry, which is an add-on where you can put a zip-on bodysuit over top of your bob, and now you can practice some basic grappling. So today I'm going to give you a couple techniques that you can just practice. Uh, this is fun. I'm just putting this together freestyle right now, so there's no set pattern. Uh, let's go with this. Okay. So we've got this guy standing here facing us. He's got his hands up and everything. I'm starting from a relaxed position. The first thing I'm gonna do here is create an injury, okay? If I'm standing, I have my hands down. I don't have to move from uh, in this fight position. If I just brush across my eyes like that, see? Either rake or use the back of your nails. Just right across the right eyes. If you are raking and you catch a nose, you want to turn the head. So this first thing I'm going to do, I'm coming from a relaxed, low position, even bent, like loose arms. I'm ready to move. I want to step outside of their gate. Okay? Whichever way I decide to do it, I want to step outside. I don't want to be inside these arms. I prefer to be outside the elbow. Okay? So let's go off to this direction here. All right? So this one here, we're starting off. Uh, he's in my face. I'm gonna angle so you can see. I like to do this. I don't stand straight onto somebody. If they're here, I wanna be able to angle so I can forearm block, keep my head back, and keep off if necessary, okay? Getting that head back, being able to pendulum out so that if any strikes are coming in from here, I'm still able to take this rather than go in and try to do some blocking or some funky stuff, okay? Getting out of the way is your best block, all right? A simple pendulum step and using that bonsai to get you out is a great way of getting out. Now, I'm here, it's gotten to that point, I'm loose. This is a floating strike. It comes like I'm rolling up underneath. As I come, I'll break across the eyes, all right? Come under, scoop underneath the elbow. So as I'm doing this, scoop, all right? As I'm coming in, break the eyes, scoop under. First one is that palm lock, this will cause pain to the shoulder and elbow, especially if I straighten it out. And then I want to drive a strike, throat strikes, smack, something that's going to create injury. I then have caused an uh, injury. I can then seize if I wanted to control. That's that far arm. From here, there's throat grab. I can turn his face out and walk him out somewhere if I need to. So from here, look at this lock here. I'm then going to travel through that pool leaving right between the elbow and the, and the body. I'm going to scoop under. I'm going to go up to the shoulder, use my neck to trap that arm, and lock it down. Okay, don't break your equipment. You don't need to lock. You just need to feel that position. Okay, from here I've got strikes, I've got elbows, I've got breaks, I've got all kinds of stuff. If he starts to try to pull away, I can get this away from my neck. I can simply slide down into the fold of the elbow, all right? Keep that forearm trapped between my shoulder here, and I'm gonna yank this down. This allows me to put in a nice strike, nice elbows, anything, all right? Say so we're here, I'm gonna then elbow drag. See that? I've got uppercuts as I drag. I got here where I can drive the head, control him, all right? I'm gonna get from here that elbow drag, and I'm gonna slide Trap the face, open that arm up, use your body against the elbow to expand his elbow. All right, this causes a lot of pain. Easily can break the elbow. Turning the face away and pulling. Pull the chin, watch out for the teeth. With that nose, get in that eye again. The eyes are really sensitive and people don't like to be got, uh, poked in the eyes. When you're doing this a lot, you're probably gonna get away. All right, so we got this here, boom. From here, I can wrap it up. Bring this up to the ear, step around, go all the way across. If I really want to cause the pain, I go across the face. I can come under the throat if I'm just going to do it safely, close the fingertips together, just like that. The other option is I go across the cheekbone with the inside of my wrist, okay, the radius bone. I'm going to attach to this cheekbone, I'm going to slide it and bring that face across. 
that I closed. And you can see there's a nice little neck lock going on here. If I was to turn around, this is gonna cause a lot of pain. From here, release, trap the face. Again, I like those eyes. Under the nose for your old school martial arts. Bring it in. I'm gonna then put my elbows into the back of his shoulders and pull him back. So I'll show you from here. I come around, down here, can come under the chin, under the nose, anything I want. I step back, I pull him in, either the shoulder, or I can step back and just slam. He's gonna have the head behind him, so the head's gonna hit first. That pertains to a lethal technique, so be careful with whatever you're doing, only in a life situation. If not, I can then just turn him in. Okay, I can go in, I can still pull that neck, I can ground them. If I ground them, still looking for those injuries, ribs, okay, along that rib line, back of the head's really nice. You try to get up, elbows, cues, and then you're up. You can bump them off balance. So this is the first one. I'll come in a little closer so you can see it again, all right? If I can remember the pattern we just did, but try this. So, rake, hook, press, drive, strikes, elbows, okay? Trap the arm, go in here, throat, boom, we've got rakes right here. Underneath the next arm, we're gonna hook, slide to the neck, lock out that elbow, add that shoulder break to the elbow, strikes to the face, shovels to the body, you've got all of that. He's trying to pull away or he's gaining away. It gets out, trap it, okay? It doesn't matter which one you do. If you're on your shoulder, I'm just gonna do the same side look. Bring them down, there's your knees, there's your elbows, okay? Bring them into that elbow drag. Push your ribs into it, all right? The base of the skull is very effective. You can still hit into those floating rib areas right here while you have this. It's an active arm still. Coming up over, rake the face, turn it away from you. Okay? Try to think of always turning the vision away from you at all times. Don't let them look at you, all right? From here, we went from this to the arm wrap. I brought up to the ear. Backstop, the higher you go, the better. Come across the face, close the lock. Take the face, go over top. Bring it into the shoulder, okay? If he's ticking me off, step back. Boom, smack. Whatever I need right here. All right, guys, so this is your first technique. Using the bob attachment, upper arms. I really like this, there's really cool things you can do. Come back and I'll show you a couple more techniques you can do this with different styles of martial arts. So practice this, let me know what you got. If you guys have one of these, give me some feedback on what you think, and I'd love to see some techniques from you guys. Have a great day, thanks for watching.